Video game enthusiasts from all over the world are gathered for what is being called the Olympics of Prototyping. It's an event that puts your creativity to the test. In just a matter of 48 hours, animators and game designers from 138 locations around the world created their very own video games from scratch. To go from pencil and paper to real models, then to actually having these models in a functioning environment and being able to run around and jump on top of them and shoot them and blacken them up with stuff, I mean, Unbelievable. Global Game Jam gets industry vets and newcomers to work side by side creating short original projects. I've always enjoyed video games and like uh, I see it in some ways as seeing your art come to life and then um, a lot of this is art. I mean a lot of this stood out as just uh, someone sketching this and then we actually sculpted it in 3D and then we got to go from there. Garrett McGill of Las Cruces helped create a video game you can play right on the palm of your hand using your cell phone. I learned a lot about drawing in Photoshop, actually. I'm, I've done a lot of character designs before um, for my work, but most of the time I start with a physical sketch. Um, and this, just the sheer amount of characters that I had to draw and the amount of time that would have been wasted scanning, um, I had to do all of my artwork entirely in Photoshop, and I learned that I really liked it a lot, actually. For many players, the Global Game Jam is more than just an event. It's a real-life learning experience. Oh, getting to see it finally finished after 48 hours of work is, is fantastic. I mean, it really shows how much work went into it, how much time and really love the students put into the project. And, and it's just really awesome. And it's not done yet. A total of 935 video games were created from this event. Now each team has the option of improving their final product before making it available to the public. For KRWG, I'm Carlos Correa.